Hey, thanks for joining us here at Quick Fix Smartphone and Tablet Repair in West Berlin, New Jersey. As always, brought to you by RootJunkie.com. Today, we have the Amazon Fire Phone. Um, this is the 3D flagship device made by Amazon. Uh, it's designed very oddly, to say the least. Uh, let's talk about the motherboard. Got the motherboard here with about 20 connections. 20 connections on the motherboard. Um, the SIM card reader is on the motherboard as well as the back flash. Uh, besides all those connections, that's about it. You know, the processors and everything are there under the shields. All right, over here we have the Amazon Fire battery. The specs are, there you go. All right. Here is the LCD digitizer assembly with the ear speaker mesh and the home button aesthetic. The screen's design is pretty interesting. Looks like the digitizer attaches to the LCD here, as well as the soldered connection right there. Here we have the mid-frame, the uh, home button, ear speaker, the four face tracking cameras, what they look like on the other side, the cameras, the loudspeaker microphone, the ear speaker, the uh, connection for the headphone jack. Now we can install the screen. All right, now just make sure that you have this snug against the mid frame before you go ahead and install the screen, like so. And it is snug. All right, now let's finish building up the uh, motherboard here. Since there's so many connections, uh, you have the back camera here. Sits like so and connects right there. All right, back camera. Now on the front facing camera assembly, you have the uh, ambient and proximity sensors. And that will fold over and install on the middle connection, like so. Now they connect the board to itself with some antennas. All right, so what I found was leaving a little slack in the cable there helps it connect than keeping it flush. Okay, now that we have those six antenna connections made, uh, we can go ahead and uh, compile the first mid-frame here. Let's start building it. We have the, oh, should've explained this. We have the charger dock, the loudspeaker, um, the lights, the LED lights for the menus, you know, back in menu. All right, and we have the microphone right there. So this goes in like so. All right, you can already start to see the 20 connections coming together. <laughs> So now that we have that and this, let's put that together. It's a little hard while showing, but you do want to try to keep all of these out of the way.
All right, now we can connect the four front facing cameras, the tracking. Okay. And this one down here for the other, the bottom two. Like so. You can connect the screen. And then the charger dock. There you have it. All right, let's go ahead and install the battery. Oops, sorry. Oh, and don't forget to make the connection right here for the home button, like I almost just did. Hmm. Should have been the first connection I made, to be honest. So let's start at the beginning and finish at the end. There we go, much easier. Okay. And again, we can install the battery. Where you make these final attachments as well. Again, there's the connection. There we go. All right, so we have here on the back housing, the vibrate motor, the connection for your volume buttons, camera button, and the power button, the connection, the resting connection for the, uh, looks like the second loudspeaker there, and your resting connections here for the headphone port. Okay. There you go. Now obviously when you're putting this together, you don't have to worry too much about tearing the cable. But when I was taking it apart, it doesn't really give you much room to work with. But there you go, we've made the connection. Now we can go ahead and install it. Make sure that the battery stays in place. It looks like this device may be a top in first instead of charger in first. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yep, top in first. I'm guessing because of the uh, way the power button rests and the way the back camera also is in place. Now we can go ahead and put this in. Like 
Alexa. There we go. The Amazon Fire 3D face tracking phone rebuild. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. This was the first time I ever worked on this phone, so please take it kindly on me in the comments section below. If you have any requests, hit me up in the comments below. Thank you again. Don't forget, give Root Junkie a big thumbs up.